Hello guys, this is Deepika from MyTutorialRack.com. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and take a look at the another aggregate function called max. And this using this function, we, we can calculate the maximum value for a particular field. So let's say we have a business requirement for our chemical equipment company. And where what we have to do is where we have to find the maximum invoice amount paid by the ABC customer. So in the previous tutorial, what we did is we calculated the average of the invoice amount that paid by the ABC customer. In this tutorial, we are going to go ahead and see how to calculate the maximum invoice amount paid by the ABC customer. So what we're going to do is we're going to go back to a developer console. And here, the query that we're going to use is we're going to go ahead and say the select. So the maximum, this is the aggregate function called max. On which particular field we wanted to calculate the maximum? We wanted to calculate on the same field, the apex amount paid field. So this is the field where we have to calculate the maximum value. So let's say whatever this, we're going to go ahead and name it as max amount. So let's say this is the name we have given, the max amount. From which table? From the apex invoice table. And where the customer name is equals to, so how are we going to calculate the customer name? We're going to say apex customer underscore underscore r dot of name. What should be the name? The name should be equals to ABC customer. So this is the name. So what we're doing is we are calculating the maximum amount, means maximum value for this particular field. We named it as max amount from which table? From the apex invoice table. So what should be the result of this? The result is going to be equals to the same aggregate list of aggregate result. That's going to be the output type would be. So it's going to be aggregate result. It's a list here. And the name of the list, let's say we call it as grouped results equals to. So now if you wanted to go ahead and calculate the value, how are we going to do? We can say if you wanted to see the value of Group to results, what will be? So let's go ahead and calculate the value. So we're just going to go ahead and say here. So now if you wanted to calculate the maximum amount, how are we going to do it? We can just say using this list, getting the index of zero and which particular field we are interested in? We are interested in this field. And where we are going to store the value returned from this? We are going to go ahead and store it into a variable called max val max invoice amount. This is the variable which is going to have the maximum amount a customer paid, the ABC customer paid. Okay, so let's go ahead and display the value of the max invoice amount. So we can say maximum invoice amount paid by the customer. So if you go ahead and display this value, it's going to have the maximum. So what is the maximum invoice amount paid by the ABC customer is $700. Remember, we had three values. One was $100. The next one is $500. And the third one is $700. So what is the maximum amount here? The maximum amount is $700. So the output of this particular line should be $700. And this should be a list which will contain a max amount field where the value would be 700. So let's go ahead and execute. So this was the error. I had a dot here. So I just got rid of it. Let's go ahead and execute. So you can see here the aggregate result. There is a field called max amount and the value is 700. And if you wanted to just find out the maximum invoice amount, this is going to be the value 700. Similarly, if you wanted to go ahead and calculate the minimum amount, how you're going to do is we're just going to go ahead and use the min function here and the min function. And let's say the name we name this particular field as min min amount. And this is going to be the same thing. The, the output is going to be stored in this list. And instead of this max amount, this will become this min amount. So we're going to go ahead and display the minimum amount paid by the ABC customer. So the what should be the output of this program now? It should be 100. So what we are doing is we are doing the same query but instead of calling the max aggregate function we are calling the min aggregate function and the output of this query is stored in this list of aggregate result 
and this particular list only contains one value which is equals to the minimum amount here and then what we're doing is we are doing a get on the index of zero and it is going to go ahead and give us the minimum amount and where we are storing this minimum amount we're going to go ahead and store this into min invoice amount variable and now we are going to go ahead and display the value of this invoice amount so go ahead and execute it go to debug only so this is the minimum amount here the minimum invoice amount paid by the customer so this is the third aggregate function called minimum